Let's take a look at finding the limit here as x approaches 0 of cotangent 4x over cotangent 3x. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite cotangent and then 4x here divided by cotangent of 3x. We need to rewrite this. So I'm going to split this first into pieces that look like the following. On the top I'm going to have a fraction that says it's cosine 4x over sine of 4x because that's the definition of the cotangent function. Same thing on the bottom it's going to be here cosine of 3x this way and then on the bottom it's going to be after that sine of 3x. So writing it this way. Then you're going to do keep change flip for the first one. I'm going to put cosine x over sine 4x here. I'm going to flip the bottom one so it's going to be for that reason sine of 3x and then divided by cosine of 3x continuing here. I need to be able to apply some basic limit rules. So what I'm going to do now is multiply by a very fancy looking form of the number 1. The first one will look like the following essentially. 3 over 4 times 4 over 3 and the next one here would be x over x. So I'm doing that. Remember 3 over 4 times 4 thirds is 1 and then x over x is 1. So all of this despite appearance is really just a form of the number 1. And then after that, I'm going to copy the rest of this part. Take a look. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to copy that. So cosine 4x over sine 4x times sine 3x over cosine 3x. What I'm going to do next from here is regroup things in a way that's more suggestive of something that I can do in terms of a limit. So take a look at this, the following, okay? It's going to look like this. I'm going to put the cosines together. So it's going to be cosine of 4x. And on the bottom here, I'm going to have the following cosine of 3x and I'm going to multiply this by the following now. I'm going to put here x and this is going to go over where it says sine of 4x and then with this x I need to put a 4 also and I can do that because I have a 4 and an x up here. So I can put that 4x up there and I put that over the sine of 4x. Then I'm going to multiply this further by the following now. I'm going to put the 3 and the x on the bottom here together under the sine of 3x. So it's going to be sine of 3x up here, and then the bottom is going to be 3x. And then remember that we had this extra part left over here that's going to be an extra 3 fourths. So what I'm doing is this extra 3 fourths, let me make it red. That kind of is going out here, this red part. I took this 4 with that 4x, so I put that up here as 4x. I took the 3x, this 3 and that x, and I put that under the sine of 3x. Why would I do all of this? Because now what I can do is take a limit of this equivalent expression as follows. I can say that is the limit as x is approaching here is 0. The 3 fourths in red, first of all, can be placed outside the limit. It's constant now, you see? And instead of writing cotangent 4x over cotangent 3x, I can just write all of that stuff in there this way. Take a look. Cosine of 4x over cosine of 3x. Be really careful here. Remember, there's also another property of limits. When you have the limit of a product, it becomes the product of the individual limits. So it's going to be like this, therefore, times, and then you're going to do another limit here. Let me just paste this in here, like this. And for the next part, it would be basically 4x this way, over, and then the bottom, we place that with sine of 4x times, and you're going to do another limit. Take a look here. So where it says uh, 4x, I'm going to replace that with sine of 3x from above there, and the bottom piece would become 3x this way. And now I can finish this up. So the first one is 3 fourths. This limit right here, cosine of 4x over 3x, cosine as x approaches 0 is just done through direct substitution. In other words, here I can put, it's going to be cosine of 0, so effectively over cosine of 3 times 0, which is also 0. And then times. Now, these other limits here are famous, like this limit here. Okay, I'm going to put a brace under it. This has a value of 1. This other limit right here, Okay, the underlined limit also has a value of 1. Those are well-known limits, established ones, that is. So I can put times 1 and then times another 1. Continuing, it's going to be 3 fourths. Cosine of 0 is 1. Cosine at the bottom of 0 is another 1. So it's 3 fourths times 1 times 1 times 1, which is lastly 3 fourths. And then this is the answer. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.